Be thou my wisdom, and now my true word. I ever with thee, and thou with me, Lord. Thou my great Father, I thy true Son, thou in me dwelling, and I with thee one. Somewhere around 2005, 2006, I was serving as Minister of Music in Crownsville, Maryland. The pastor got up one Sunday and just let the church know that he was leaving. The next day, he came in, loaded up his office, and moved. We all know New England is called the pastor's graveyard, and more pastors leave the ministry after serving in New England than anywhere else in in, in the country because of the hardness of it and and the the lack of fruit. It's it's so slow coming. Um, God is God. And when he calls you to go somewhere, if you're obedient, what he does with your life is nothing short of amazing. I'm Russ Rathier, pastor of Washington Baptist Church in Washington, Vermont. I've been shepherding the flock here for almost five years. Pastors that I talk to, especially the new pastors who come up, they intentionally try to have one or two down days a week, and I wanted to say, yeah, good luck with that, because you can't. Most pastors up here have two jobs. They're a pastor of a church, and they also have to have another income coming in to support the family. As a pastor of a small church like this, I'm up there leading the music, I'm leading the prayer, I'm teaching the Bible studies, and my wife is drawn this way to be with the women and the children. And and so we're constantly being pulled apart, and we don't get a couple of nights away. So you just start Okay, this is the life God gave me, and as you start going through your first year or two, yeah, I can keep doing this, I can keep doing this. No, you can't. You need to stop. You need to be refilled. You need to be re-energized. You need to plug in the power source somewhere. New England pastors often struggle because the villages where they serve are small. And so by default, their congregations tend to be small. And then you add to that the very difficult winters that occur that causes them to be isolated. And that isolation can cause you to become discouraged. We see the pastor encouragement retreat as a vital role in keeping the pastor on the battlefield, the spiritual battlefield. (laughs) We want to give pastors and their spouses an opportunity to come to a nice retreat setting, to rest, to interact with other pastors, to see they're not the only ones who are going through the struggles that they're experiencing and they go back to their places of ministry with a new vision and a new drive to continue to do what God called them to do. You've got to rest, you've got to re-energize, and the Phil Waldrop retreats are just dynamite for that. This is a time for us, with all these other pastors, to just be able to sit back and worship God. Thou my vision, O oh Lord.